hero or jerk? <laughs> Great job. <laughs> His tweets angered the mob. Now he's out of a job. I speak of a 24-year-old from Michigan, aren't they all? <laughs> Named Griffin Green. He recently moved to the Bronx for a job in NYC. So already we know he has bad judgment. <laughs> but upon arrival, he had a hard time shopping at local bodegas, which is what people call all the small grocery stores here in New York. These are places where you can buy over or you can overpay for detergent, beer, and cold medicine while a cat sleeps on a loaf of Wonder Bread. <laughs> True. Take it away, Griffin. Okay, so I just moved to New York, and I'm trying to go grocery shopping, and so I type in, like, grocery stores on my Apple Maps, and, like, every <laughs> one I go to, like, I'm walking, too. Like, they're like this <laughs> or, like, <laughs> like this. Like, bro, that's not a grocery store. Like, I'm trying to get, like, eggs, yogurt, like, cheese, like, <laughs> like that. Like, look at this place. Like, I've literally been to, like, five of those now, <laughs> and, like, I don't know what the I'm about to do for dinner. Like, where are the Kroger's and, like, the Whole Foods at? Like, I'm about to eat... Like, oh like cereal and ramen for dinner. Like, what the? It's <laughs> great. So that clip made the rounds on Twitter with people calling him a racist for some reason. Then some busybody losers <clears throat> tweeted his new place of work, a software company called Outreach, demanding that he be fired. So they did. But now they say he was fired for sharing a confidential employment letter on social media. But it's obvious the, me the mob did him in by scaring his employer. We reached out to Griff. That's what I call him because we're tight. <laughs> and Griff, we bro down. You just like saying Griff. We You've bro never down. Met him. He's so bro down. <laughs> and he never, and he says he never meant to trash the neighborhood, adding, quote, through this experience, I've learned that food deserts are a huge issue uh, in some urban areas across the country, New York specifically. No idea. I had no idea this was what I was walking into. I was essentially a golden retriever that stuck his nose in a bee's nest and got stung. No. Oh. It's a beautiful analogy. No. We'll be doing greeting cards. He also filmed himself buying food from bodegas and then distributing it to the homeless. Oh, boy. Which is fine, I guess. But when I do my charity work, I never record it. That's just tacky. Also, they won't let me bring my camera into the Chippendales dressing room. <laughs> Jeff, hero or jerk? Hmm, I got to pick one of the two. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you can come. You can go. You can say. Well, is this, was he right to be fired? Uh, no, I don't think it, it was, was his second day on the job. I know. And also, I was shocked that he, to find that he works in tech. This yeah. guy's a tech guy. Yeah, I know. He doesn't that look like it. Strange. But yeah. also, you know, I think we learned a lesson here. You know, it's, this is a, he's a bro. That's why people yeah. are mad. You yeah. know, you, I live in Los Angeles. I'm a bro. I'm a straight white guy. He's got to know you got to lie. Yeah. <laughs> you got to lie every day if you want to keep working. Every day I have to say, like, oh, nice to meet you. They go, oh, I identify as a wolf. And I, <laughs> I, I am my moon rising. And I go, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. I say, oh, man, can I have babies? You're like, duh. <laughs> duh. You lie so you can work. There you go. There you go. He was naive. He was a victim of his own naivete, Tyrus. Did he say any truth in there? Everything he said was accurate. Uh, he, he just maybe films a little too close to his face, for my taste. <laughs> but I hope, David, he's been... And I just am shocked, because you, can, you know how you knew he was from out of town? He paid for everything. <laughs> like, that fool should have been... If he was... Really. What, you all steal? What's no, happening? I'm saying, you haven't been in New York in a while. <laughs> I'm saying, if he would have robbed every place he went at, he'd have been a hero. Yes, that is so the true. The only thing he did was he made some jokes. Mm -hmm. right. He didn't single anybody out. And he gave food to the homeless. Yeah, cancel this guy. Yeah. You know, I hope this inspires him, because usually the stories like this will turn into this guy starts opening grocery stores all over the East Coast. And he's going to look back on this day and laugh. Yes. You know, I have a theory that these bodegas are designed for people like you, Kat. Whoa. Somebody at 2.30 in the morning weighs 80 pounds, can sneak, <laughs> like, inside these, like, really narrow things. You buy, like, oh, I think I'll buy it. I'll buy some ho-hos. I'll buy some jerky. Oh, my God. I'll buy some cat food. And then it's all, and then you just bring it all up there like this. At 3, it's like 2.30. Wow, 2 you know me so well. <laughs> But is it? It's, it's designed for people buying food <coughs> while they're slightly inebriated and aren't looking at the prices, right? 
maybe. Or noticing that maybe it's stale. You usually, get home and you open it up and it's stale. It usually stale. is. Yes. I don't know. I, I feel like I do have to say this guy's, he sucks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Not because, like, he shouldn't have gotten fired, but, like, look at him, you know? Like, there's there's so many, like, shirtless Jim Mirror <laughs> selfies of him that I, that are floating around. And he's just, like, the kind of guy that would be, like, hitting on you at a, at a bar and just never understanding, no matter how obvious that you were being about not being into it. And he gets all excited when the chain smokers come on. Like, he's, like... <laughs> You are describing your husband. Yeah, I resemble these remarks. <laughs> yeah. Isn't Look, that your favorite? No, my husband has the, I love him so much, but he does have the musical taste of a Forever 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> does create issues sometimes, but we can talk about that later. <laughs> you know what, Emily? I have to say that if uh, I, I was probably closer to what he was, like back then, I mean, like I would if if I had social media at that age, I would have I never would have survived. I wouldn't have a job. Right. But the point is, we didn't. Thank yes. God, so we don't have to talk about it. Everything's cool, actually. We were perfect growing yes, up. Yes, exactly. Just keep that exactly. lie. Exactly. Uh, I did nothing bad. I feel like the company was breathed a sigh of relief when they saw that he had posted that offer letter. They were like, Oh yeah. yes. Right. Because now we actually do have this legal hook. Mm -hmm. And then they threw in, though, that comment about how they're dedicated to inclusion and diversity, just in case yeah. the, the mob comes after them, too. Um, you know, there was a GoFundMe account, like, set up for him. It's, he's already raised over $4,000 for mm -hmm. himself. And the whole reason he got That's that... That's a lot of Axe body spray. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a lot of yeah. top ramen. He's yeah. locked into a year lease. So he was saying he's like screwed because now he doesn't have a job and he is stuck here for 12 months, which is like a billion dollars. But I mean, to your point earlier, he can just go to Chippendales. Or we could hire him hire here. Him. What should he do? Yeah. No! We already have his twin. Who's that guy? Andy Arts? Who's the guy in the back that you guys use sometimes <laughs> to talk about? Andre, Andre the guy Andre. who's Andre. He's always, Yeah, he's always the guy who's asking the monkey to have sex. That's his yeah. one role. <laughs> That's yes. the only time you hear his voice. Yeah, like, it's Andre. So yeah. he's like, you, you, he you be, were saying he's like Andre too. He could be our Andre. Andre yeah. Yes. They would compete for your affection. <laughs> Yo, know, this is the last bastion of persecution are the bros. Can we admit, though, that it's not racist at least? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. He, he might racist. be a dummy. He might be young and stupid and on yeah. the internet and definitely zoomed in. I agree with you. Yeah. But, uh, but it's definitely not racist. We're all racist if we think bodegas. Yeah. Aren't grocery stores? That's yeah. not a racist statement. No, it's, it's no. He didn't say yeah. racist. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.